Guess what? I have five PowerPoint slide templates that I want to give to you for absolutely free. Each and every slide is fully customizable to your needs. Whether you're presenting to your boss, your professor, your colleague, your employees, or your mother-in-law, you can use these five slides in any way that you'd like. And to get them, you only have to do just one thing. Click on the first link on the YouTube description and sign up to the Slack Cal mailing list. Your welcome email will consist of a download link with these slides. Thank you and enjoy. Welcome back to another video from Slide Cow. My name is Yoyo, and together we're going to make your slides amusing. In this week's video, we are going to make a simple yet elegant Venn diagram slide in PowerPoint. So let's get started. Step one, lay out the Venn diagram. All right, so when we have a blank slide, I know what you're already thinking. You're thinking I'm gonna head on over to insert, I'm gonna click on shapes, and then click on the circle, and then draw the circle here, and then tell you guys you have to make another circle. No, we're not gonna do that. No, forget that, forget that, guys. We're gonna hack this tutorial. We're gonna make this Venn diagram the easiest way possible. Are you ready for this? Are you ready for this mind-blowing trick? Here we go, all right. The first thing you guys have to do is head on over to insert, okay? Then you wanna click on smart art. You wanna click on relationships and scroll down until you see this smart art diagram thing over here, which is basically called a basic Venn, as you can see. Click on okay and you know play around with the size however you'd like, so I'm just gonna reduce it twice like that. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna ungroup it. So with everything selected, I'm just gonna press on Control Shift G and I'm gonna ungroup it. And I'm gonna do it again. That way I have three different circles exactly where I would like them. And it really is that easy, right? So that step is now done. We can now move on to the second step. Step two, add the colors, icons, and text. All right, so once we have our Venn diagram all laid out in our PowerPoint slide, very neatly, very cool, blah, 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 blah. We want to now color it in and bring in the text and bring in the icons. To save time, I'm gonna be using these colors over here and I'll get to the icons in just a minute. So, feel free to use whatever colors you want. I'm just gonna be using these ones on the left side over here. I'm gonna make the top one pink. I'm going to make the left one a blue color and I'm gonna be making the right one an orange color. Now, what you guys need to understand is that you can't have your Venn diagram looking like this. You have to play around with transparencies to get that effect that you want. You have to make sure your overlaps you know, it can be vividly seen by your audience, right? It can be vividly processed. So I'm gonna click on this shape over here. I'm gonna go to format, I'm gonna go to shape fill, I'm gonna go to more fill colors, and I'm gonna change the transparency to around, I don't know, let's go 25%. I'm gonna do the same thing for this one over here. 25%, boom. And the same thing for this one over here. 25%, boom. And that looks absolutely gorgeous i love it i absolutely love it because you can see exactly what you need to see where you need to see it right you can see exactly what needs to go where, where it overlaps and stuff like that so it's all good to go the only thing you need to be aware of is that i'm going to be bringing it in a unique shape just for the center part over here where all three circles overlap and this is because this is the most crucial part of the venn diagram and i also know that not many of you actually use that you know little center overlap thing right so it's completely optional and you know i just wanted to make sure that you guys have the option to do this as well as the fact you need to make it stand out so what we're going to do is we're going to group up everything and then we're going to go to insert click on shapes and then click on the circle over here we're going to draw the circle like this we're going to make it white Let's just make it a bit smaller we're going to remove the outline completely and we're just going to position it just so everything is aligned as best as possible. Now, I understand that if I put it in the middle over here, it's not really gonna cover everything, so I'm just gonna move this to the bottom somewhat until we have something that looks like that. Look at that, beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. We have all the overlaps, we have all the areas set, and now we can start bringing in our text, icons, and whatnot. So let's get started with that. All right, I'm just gonna head over to insert, click on text box and just draw the text box just like this. And I'm just gonna type in whatever for now, like any sort of dip, gibberish, I just paste that in the text box, but be sure to type in, you know, what's relevant to your slide, obviously. I'm gonna center it, I'm gonna change the, uh, the font size to around 10. And I'm just gonna move that into the middle here. Perfect. I'm just gonna press enter, type in title, change that to Pantone black caps just to make sure it's different 
and I'm gonna change the font to white and that is absolutely beautiful. So we have that. Now we're gonna to have to move it on the left and the right side of this Venn diagram as well. So I'm just gonna do that here, one over here and one over here. All right, perfect. Now I can start bringing in my icon. So I'm going to bring in this bulb icon first bring it to the front, just place it in the middle. By the way, a word about the icons, let me just put that here so you guys are aware. These icons are completely editable, so you know, you can just change the color if you want, that's fine. You can add an outline, you can, you know, move it this way or move it that way, you can do whatever you'd like with them. If you do not know how to bring in icons into your PowerPoint slide or you don't have the insert icons button as I do over here in your PowerPoint software, then don't worry, Slidecow's here. We actually have a tutorial that covers all of that. Just click the link in the description or click the button in the top right corner right now, the info button in the top right corner that is, to get started. But for right now, we're gonna be using these. So I'm going to keep the white there and I'm going to bring in this little stopwatch here. Bring it up, make sure it's aligned as best as possible. Just like that. And I'm gonna do the same for a magnifying glass, just over there. Bring it to the front, move it in. Just make sure that perfect. That looks awesome. And I love it. And that is also the second step completed. Step three: add more colors, icons, and text. All right guys, so we've done the main sort of text components and the main shapes. Now we have to sort of, you know, add the icons and the text for the overlapping shapes, as you can see over here. Um, I have a technique for this. You can go for your own thing, but this is how I do it. Uh, I'm gonna go to insert, I'm gonna go to shapes, and then I'm gonna click on this button over here, which is basically curved, right? It's a curved line. What you wanna do is you just wanna click once, go up, click twice, move it over there and then click a third time just like that until you have a line like this and it's all curved and nice and I'm just going to be placing it in between uh, the two shapes over here so that you can see the line goes just through it like into the overlapping zone over here and uh, I'm going to make this a gray color that you can see just like that which looks good I think and actually we can play around with this just a bit more let's just move that up yep that looks Great. There we go. That. There we go. That looks perfect. All right. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to uh, right click on the little line we just made and we're going to go to format shape over here and on the right side over here, right under the um, under the line options in the fill in the fill and line section. What you want to do is look at these options over here, the begin arrow type, the begin arrow size, the end arrow type, and the end arrow size, right? So in the begin arrow type, we want to change it to a circle, just like that, so you can have a little circle over there. And in the end arrow type, we also want to have a circle. Personally, I think these circles are a bit too big for me, so I'm just going to go for a smaller size, as you can see, just like that. So I'm just, oh, not this one, actually, this one, yeah. So that way, we have a, uh, very neat line going through looks good and we can play around with our slide a little more so uh, when that's done what I'm gonna do now is I'm just going to click on the text box that we have over here it's gonna copy and paste it I'm going to make this black all of it just like that I'm gonna line it to the left like this bring it down maybe extend it just a bit just like that perfect and I'm going to be bringing in an icon. So I'm just going to be using this newspaper icon over here. I'm going to paint it the same color as the overlapped sort of circle. So this little darkish orange thing here over here. So uh, let's just align these two shapes by going to home, arrange, align, then align middle and press control G, bring it up. Boom. Perfect. So now what I want to do is I just want to color that the exact same color that I colored the icon, which is just there. And that's one part done. So uh, to move on to the second part, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click on everything that I just made. Press Control G to group it up. Move it all the way to the right like this. 
go to home, arrange, rotate, flip horizontal like that, and do the exact same thing, just like this, perfect. Except this time I'm gonna, you know, align the text to the right here and I'm gonna have to change the icon and the color. So let's just ungroup this. I'm gonna delete that. And uh, what we need now is this little dial thing, which I'm going to color in over here. And I'm going to bring that just down here. Same deal. I'm gonna align to the middle. Perfect. And I'm gonna color it in the same color as well. Awesome. And now for the third one coming out over here, what I wanna do is I just wanna, you know, click on this line. I wanna duplicate it by pressing Control D, bring it down over here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna to go to home, arrange, rotate, and then flip vertical and just tilt it like this. So I get something that looks like that, which is gorgeous. And I wanna bring this down over here. Perfect. Let's just make sure that that is aligned as best as possible. Just like that. Ungroup and let's delete this icon over here and bring in another icon, which is our little shopping bag. I'm gonna color that. Same color as over here. Do the same thing here. Just like this. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Let's just move that to the right a bit. Make sure it's all centered in the middle. Awesome. Boom. That looks absolutely gorgeous. Now, for the final thing, the final step that we have is I'm just gonna duplicate this one more time. I'm gonna remove everything except for the title. And I'm just gonna show you what I'm doing over here. So I'm just keeping the word title in there. I'm going to make it as small as I can so I can fit it into the into this little circle we have in the middle. Um, let me grab this icon over here and make it black as well. I'm gonna bring it down here, just like this. I'm gonna group them both up, press a control G, and just bring it to the center, just like that. And let's see if I can perfectly align it. There we go. A boom. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I love it, but we're not done just yet. We have to add those little touches, which means our last step is to step four, add the finishing touches. Alrighty. So I'm going to go to insert, click on text box and just draw the text box just like this right in here and type in a simple Venn diagram. Put it in the middle, change the font to 40. And yeah, that looks great actually. We're going to align center, perfect. So once we're done with the title, I'm just gonna head on over to insert, click on shapes and click on this rectangle over here. I'm just gonna draw three short rectangles like this. One here, one right next to it, and one right next to it like that. And I'm gonna color these guys in. So. This one's gonna be pink, this one's gonna be blue, this one's gonna be orange, and two, three. We're gonna make this just a tad thinner, like that. Arrange, align, uh, distribute horizontally, group it up, put it in the center, just like that. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. Look how beautiful this slide looks beats the smart art option but we actually use the smart art option so guys that's all i have for you this week i will see you guys next week but please if you do like this video then do consider you know obviously liking it and sharing it and commenting in the comment section below write me an email do whatever just you know get engaged guys I can, I can only make videos that are useful to you if you tell me what you find useful and if you give me feedback, right? So please tell your colleagues, tell your friends, get, let, let's make a community out of this. I really enjoy it. I will see you guys next week. This is Yo-Yo signing off. Bye-bye.